What up players? Wobots tear up in this mud and welcome to day number eight of the Project Stunties Dwarf Painting Project, Assembly and Painting. And today, as you can see, I finished my Great Weapon Warrior unit. And I have them all ranked up here, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut the video and then we're going to jump into a couple of the different designs that I did, or the different paint schemes that I did for my guys. Okay. So here are my normal Great Weapon Warriors with normal beards, uh, normal paint scheme. I think that after the washes, the brown sleeves, the green sleeves, and the gray sleeves look really great next to each other. They really complement each other, especially with these uh, dark, grim, gray bases with the little gold nuggets on them. I think it's a really good accent. And once the washes are on, and once they have their highlights done and their eyeballs painted in and everything, I think that they're a very handsome looking bunch. Next we go to the guys that I call the Ginger Brothers because I painted them to look like they had red ginger hair. And um, it's really awesome, it was really fun. I found a tutorial online of an old, it's actually taken from an old White Dwarf magazine where you just go from bestial brown layer over some blazing orange and then progressively get lighter and then wash it with some ogre and flesh to tone down the orange and then go back up with bleached bone and dwarf flesh and there you can see the kind of finished product once you wash it with ball red so I really like how the the tones here go from dark to light it's really awesome really happy with these redheads redhead boys oh I'm a pretty dwarf it's very um maybe like collie like lassie where they have like a whole bunch of different tones to the red hair yeah really awesome then we go to the blonde boys the blonde brothers painted up using my how to paint blonde hair war boss tutorial these guys look quite fetching I believe you can see I did the gem work for their helmets I was thinking, I was debating whether or not to do it because these are supposed to be the more uh, dirty, grim, and uh, just more, you know, practical dwarves. Not much seen, uh, ornamentation, not much jewelry is seen on their arms and armor, but I thought uh, having the little red rubies in their helmets looked quite nice. What do you think? As always, I welcome your comments and feedback. And finally, here are my musician. I'm really happy with the eyeballs, so show them off whenever I can. And standard bearer. Going for a dark metal kind of look, which you can achieve really easily with the washes. Alright, so there you have my Great Weapon Dwarf Warriors. Hope you guys like them. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Next, I'm going to be going on to my Quarrelers. And um, I've already built and primered those up, so I'm going to start on my base coats for them tomorrow. But I think this is a good, nice little core to, to base the rest of my units on. If I can get these guys done in such a short amount of time, then I'm pretty pretty optimistic about my my goals for the next couple days so uh, thanks for watching please leave any comments and feedback it's always much appreciated and don't forget to hit the like button before you go and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and like always I invite you to join my painting challenge 
if you have something on your shelf that needs doing or you need some motivation then just join up with me set a goal for yourself like by the end of this week I am going to paint my new box of Necron goodies or you know something like that and um, yeah join the fun it's it's a real blast to see your models come up and um, yeah I'd love to have you join up so we'll see you later thanks for joining us and take care